The following video will show you how to set up the interface for coupling users analysis program with Visual Doc. The user can define an interface between Visual Doc and any analysis program that reads an ASCII input file and produces a corresponding ASCII output file. Let's start with an example. Consider a 10 bar truss system. Two forces of 100,000 newtons are applied at grades 2 and 4. A fixed support is provided at grades 5 and 6. The objective is to minimize the total mass of the structure satisfying the stress and displacement constraints. To reduce the mass of the structure, we will change the cross-sectional area of each bar but we will keep the length of each member constant. Genesis is used as the analysis program to calculate the mass of the truss, the maximum displacement and stresses in each bar. Now let's open Visual Doc. Create a new project. The next step is to create a workflow. From Component Palette, add Optimization Component. Now add the File Input Output Component inside the Optimization Component where I will add an input data file. Next, add executable component inside optimization component. The executable component is used to run an external analysis program which is used in conjunction with file input output component. Now, add another file input output component inside the optimization component. Here, I will add an output data file. When coupling analysis with optimization, it is necessary to have an input data file and an output data file that correspond to the analysis program. The output data file is utilized to extract output responses. The input data file is utilized to override values that correspond to the design variables. During optimization, these two files will be automatically modified, the input file by Visual Doc and the output file by the analysis program. Now add a stop block. Now click on flowchart components in model tree panel and click on auto connect all models icon. Now click on automatically rearrange all models icon. Now I will rename all the components. Right click on the component and select rename component. Now the next step is to set up the input file component. Go to component editor tab. Select input file component in model tree panel. From the panel on the right, click on add input file icon. For file part type, I have selected relative to model directory as I have saved the input file in the same location where I have saved the visual doc model. Now click on file icon and select the genesis input file. Visual doc will create a template file. Now highlight the properties and material string on line 35. Click on add new search action icon. This will allow the input file component to search the data from the template file. Enter the name as properties. Now click on the properties in the file definition tree. On line 36, highlight the fourth field by clicking on the number. Click on add new modifier action icon. Since we want to modify 10 cross-sectional areas and each area entry has identical syntax, we can modify all of them at once by using array specification option. Click on the checkbox corresponding to use array option. Select vector. Change the array length to 10. Alternatively, we can create 10 different modify action for each cross-sectional area. Since the genesis uses fixed file format, select fixed format for a format specification. A fixed format file is a file where data entries starts and ends at certain fixed columns in the file. Enter the fixed length as 8. 
Now as you can see all 10 cross-sectional areas which are defined for the modifier action are added as input data in the middle panel. Now the next step is to set up analysis program. Select analysis component in model tree panel. From the panel on the right make sure that analysis runs locally radio button is selected. In the analysis working directory section make sure that use the model directory option is selected. For local analysis program definition select absolute for file part type. Now click on file icon and select genesis executable file which is located under installation path. For program arguments enter 10 bar dot dat which is the name of input file. Program arguments usually contains the name of input or output file. Now push the test button. After successful execution you will get a message in standard messages tab. Now the next step is to set up the output file component to extract the outputs. Select the output component from the model tree panel. From the panel on the right click on add output file. Now click on the file icon and select genesis output file which contains information such as mass displacement and stresses. Now highlight the string mass and click on add new search action icon. Enter the name as mass now select the mass entry from file definition tree and highlight the value of mass by clicking on the number. Click on add new extract action icon. Now select the 10 bar template file in file definition tree and highlight the string stresses. Now click on Add new search action icon. Now highlight the number for the stress in rod 1 at end A. Click on add new extract action icon. Now we will create an array to extract all the 10 stress values at once. Click on the checkbox corresponding to use array option. Select vector, change the array length to 10. Now similarly I will create a search action for maximum displacement and extract all output values for maximum displacement. As you can see the mass, stress and displacement which are defined for the extract action are added as output data in the middle panel. Now the next step is to create data transfer. Go to data linker tab. Select optimization in model tree panel. Select optimization in the middle panel. Make sure that auto link checkbox is selected. Now click on automatically add data to selected model icon. This will create the data needed for the optimization component and add corresponding links for the data transfer between optimization and the components in the subflow. Now the next step is to set up the optimization component. Go to component editor tab. Select optimization in model tree panel. For the variables area Enter the initial value as 1. Enter the lower bound as 0 0.1. As the mass is the objective, mark the checkbox in the objective column. Deselect the checkbox under constraint column. 
for constraints, stress and displacement enter the bounds. For the data mass, make sure that Minimize option is selected in the goal column. For this problem, I will be using modified method of feasible direction which is default gradient based optimization method in Visual Doc. Now I will create two simulation monitors to monitor the best objective and the worst constraint violation. Go to simulation monitors tab, add two optimization history monitors. Now click on expand hierarchy icon below the flowchart components panel as well as list of monitors panel. Now drag the best objective under simulation parameters and drop it on the x1 axis of the first monitor. Similarly drag the worst constraint under simulation parameters and drop it on the x1 axis of the second monitor. To activate the define monitors click on enable all monitors icon. Now click on validate icon. Our complete model is valid. Now click on run icon. To view the define monitors, click on view monitors tab. Now click on tile all frames icon. Visual Doc has the capability to provide real time updates. When the simulation is underway, simulation monitors get updated in real time. For both optimization history monitors, x-axis represents number of iterations. For first optimization history monitor, y-axis represents best objective value for each iteration. For second optimization history monitor, y-axis represents worst constraint value for each iteration. The total number of iterations are 11. It can be seen from the graph that there is a constraint violation for the first three iterations. To check which constraints are violated, go to post processing tab, select optimization in the model tree panel. Click on generate summary report icon. Now scroll down to iteration number two. It can be seen that the stress and displacement constraints are violated. To view the optimum results, go to component editor tab, select optimization in the model tree panel. The table displayed in the middle panel has the optimum values in the optimum column. The optimum value for the total mass of the structure is 5221 pounds. The total mass is reduced by approximately 22%. This completes the demo. I hope that it has helped you to get familiar with coupling users analysis program with Visual Doc. This example is available in Visual Doc Advanced Example Manual. If you would like to learn more, I invite you to check other videos about Visual Doc. For more information, please visit our website at www.vrand.com or email us at visualdog.support at vrand.com. Thanks for watching.